Good morning, you guys. It is August 18 of 2019. A pilot's life uh, again from SKBO to KMIA. I don't know why I'm stuck doing this route three times. Ugh. So, oh well, it works, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And then my next thing is gonna be from, I believe, S uh, Covington to Stockton. Then back. So let me do something real quick. There we go. I'm actually adjusting the stuff that I have pinned to the taskbar so it'll be easier for me to launch this stuff in the future. I learned about this trick a long, long time ago. So. Let's actually restart it real quick because I did reinstall some or update some add-ons. Closest city. Funza Cundinamarca. 3.0 miles. Bearing 278. Columbia time. Thank you, Jason. For coding this wonderful, wonderful add on. Just because I can. Left contact men. I'm gonna generate an auto route because I can. Waiting for the route to be generated here. Wait, what am I doing? Um, Object map mode, map mode, map two, blank, zoom in, press blank, map one, one, two, one, two, one, five. Top, X, five, X, five, X, five, 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 Startup sounds a little better, but that's that, that has nothing to do with Sky Song. That has everything probably to do with P3D. So if I listen to it from the outside.
Let's check something really quickly here. Uh, let's see. side.
it's the uh, engine noise I think it's looping. I can tell that because when it slows down, the loop slows down. Closest city, Sylvania, Cundinamarca. 2.4 miles. Bearing, 142. So, with the party coming up in about a week, a week from yesterday, which means that I'm going to be spending a lot of time with family and uh, friends. Some friends I haven't seen in months. One friend, I, well, I talked to her, but I haven't seen her physically uh, since January or so. Um, you know? So, yeah. yeah we're going to be seeing her, uh, I hope. without warning. I believe there is a memory leak somewhere, and I really hope they come out with an update to fix that. Uh, I also hope they, have a, they add more voices, too. I kind of want to hear more, a lot more. Uh, we actually do need more accents uh, from the U.S., from Germany, English accents from the U.K. We need uh, any of my uh, YouTube subscribers who want to do this, let me know, and um, you can upload your recording. You use an app to do it, you have to record it exactly the way they have it, uh, they have the, the way they have the recording, you, you record it using the app that they have, and you upload it to them, and then they do whatever they need, you need to do to edit it, and yeah, I want to hear some of your voices on there, uh, regional voices, 
because that would be really cool if uh, the visually impaired and sighted community that are just subscribed to my YouTube can uh, get involved in this neat project. If we can, if all of my 475 uh, voices, so to speak, can upload a voice to Pro ATC, where if you're in the world, do it. Um, yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool.
Closest city, Alice Town Bimini. 72.4 miles. Bearing, 356. Currently over North Atlantic Ocean.
Closest city, Key Biscayne, Florida. 10.8 miles. Bearing, 310. Currently over North Atlantic Ocean. Let us see how far we are. Oh boy.
I'm also playing Time Crest, uh, which is a sort of choose your own adventure kind of sort of um, not really. I, I don't know. I can't explain it, but it's. I've been playing it since about 2016, um, so about for about three years, off and on, more off than on. I wonder if I do that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna get a sync rate, but that's okay. So the way I'm using Tramp um, is with screen review. I'm not, I'm tabbing a bit, uh, but only when I need to because it lags. And I maybe it's like switching windows or you know whatever. I don't code, so nor do I want to learn how. So, um, yeah, I'm switching, uh, I'm using screen review, and I'm using an uh, add-on called OBJ Pad, which lets me sort of get around without a lag. Um. So, yeah. And if you want to know more about using NVDA's screen review, go to uh, NVDA. What is, what is the new website? I forgot. NVDA uh, is it community dash. Oh, what is it? NVDA hyphen community. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, go to NVDA dash project dot org, and it will direct you to the new website. I can never remember the new website because it's been NVDA dash project dot org since I can remember in two thousand. Six, seven, seven, I think. So NVDA has been around for about twelve, for a good twelve years. It's 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 really grown a lot. For you sighted people, NVDA is a screen reader, which helps me read the screen. Uh, unfortunately, not everything is accessible to NVDA. I do encourage developers to test with NVDA because it is free, and it is open source. So. Um, I do, I do encourage developers to do that. Test your app with NVDA. Do not look at your screen, turn it off, put a piece of paper over it, put a blindfold on, whatever it takes. And... Uh, um, read your screen. Uh, read your... Use your app. Use the keys. Use your app. What could need more? What could... What could... You do to improve 
the accessibility of the app. Let's say it's missing graphics or most controls we tab to. What buttons aren't being tabbed to? What graphics uh, aren't being read, if any? What buttons are not being labeled, if any? What, what buttons aren't being read, if any? Because when we pass over unlabeled buttons, we'll hear something like button, button, or button with a really weird ID the dev gives it. Button, Closest city, uh, Kendall, West Florida. Oh, 8 .9 I don't know where that is. Bearing, um, 104. I think that's right by Eastern Miami. Time. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, but test your app. You know. Uh, I don't want to hear button C04825 and then some unintelligible text. I want to hear uh, open button, save button, dashboard button, or dashboard, or if it's a tab, dashboard tab. Those don't have to be written in. I think those could be just coded. Like what kind of control is it? And if you build accessibility from the ground up, you won't have to worry about building it in later. And I tell, I keep telling many developers that, and uh, they're, I don't know if I to call it an excuse, or their answer normally is, I don't want to build accessibility, and it's too expensive. And, uh, you know, you should just be happy that I've granted you this much accessibility. Yeah, granted? No. Absolutely not. I don't believe in people granting accessibility. Accessibility should just be first nature. Um, if I go into a store and none of the signs are labeled, that's not good. Or if I go to a store and the elevator isn't labeled, that's not good either. So yeah, developers, please, 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 please test with NVDA. If you're on Windows, if you're on Mac, test with VoiceOver, which <coughs> can be accessed with Command F5.
Did that with NVDA shaped to Z. And now I'm relying solely on my callouts, which I hope 500. fire. There we go. Four hundred. Light slope. Light slope. Light slope. Light slope. One hundred. Light slope. Minimums. Fifty. Forty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. that one up, I think. Yes, we don't want to deal with the potential. We don't like 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 the potential. Uh, you're supposed to, like, be stopped, but that's alright. Okay, so... Alright. Let's see... Covington. Oh, to Stockton. I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, back to Covington. Oh, crap. Okay. Close that. And I'm actually gonna... I want to look... At my uh, landing, because, yeah. It could have gone a lot better. Oh, 
Okay. And... Um, 